welcome you all to the first, I think it's the first, uh, conference on social structures of accumulation. Uh, we're in the Cairns Graduate School of Business and Public Policy, uh, which is affiliated, uh, or at least the graduate operation of our Faculty of Commerce here at the National University of Ireland in Galway. Um, having welcomed you then to the university, having welcomed you to the Cairns Graduate School, and having welcomed you to the conference, uh, I'd like to ask uh, Neil Abrolikon to welcome you to the city. Uh, Neil is the first uh, Green Mayor uh, of Galway. Uh, and with that, we'll just let him say a few words. Which means I'm delighted to be here um, in Irish. And um, just to say that, uh, to, to repeat what Terry did, it's, it's a great honour to have, um, you know, I, I believe and I'm told, and I'm sure it's true, that we have some of the most eminent scholars from around the world in the area of social structure of accumulation, theory and analysis. And I believe this is the first conference ever of its type in the world. And Maria has told me that this, this um, theory has been around since the 70s, um, but th this is actually the first international conference on it, and so it's, it's, it's fantastic to have that in Galway. Um, I, I'd like to pay tribute. T Terry has been a, a good friend of mine for a long time, and I hope he doesn't mind me saying that, but um, <laughs> Terry, <laughs> ter Terry has, um, you know, I, I, I've had many um, interesting discussions and arguments with Terry on, on various uh, facets of social and uh, environmental economics and, and many other sorts of economics as well. And Maria as well is, I understand, one of the main organisers of Maria Alhamdra. And, uh, you, you know, um, it's, it's great to have such people in Galway as well because we have a very good internationalist element in this city. It's, it's always been a city of um, many different cultures, even since it was set up. Um, just a little story I like to tell is that when Galway was first set up, it was, it was an old Norman city. Um, so French would have been the first uh, language of Galway at the time. And at, at one stage, French was the first language. The second language was, was Spanish because we had a lot of traders. The third language was, was Irish. And then only the fourth language was English. But nowadays, English is the first language. So thank goodness um, that's the, the, the language that I speak the most. Um, but it's, 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 it is a very international city. Uh, the university is a great university. And it, you know, it does attract um, scholars from around the world, both to conferences. And obviously, um, you know, the, the, the two main organizers of the conference are not originally from the country. So I mean, it's, you know, it, 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 it's great to have um, you know, such a facility here. I had a great uncle who was a, a professor here. And you know, I think many, many people um, I know uh, work here. It's, it's a huge part of Galway City um, because you know, the number of people here is, the number of people who actually work and study here is, um, you know, a very, very significant part of our city. It's, it's I, I'm not sure of the exact percentage, but it's around 20 to 25 percent of the people in the city. So, um, you know, it obviously has a huge impact on Galway City. Um, I, I'd just like to say a little bit, Terry said I could, I could run for a, little, a couple of seconds about, just about my, my pet subjects of climate change and peak oil which I think, um, you know, have a great input into, into um, you know, what is going to happen in the world economy in the future. I mean, we, we have headlines in the advertiser, which is over there, which some of you may want to read, which, which say that we're going to be flooded again, we're expecting floods again this, this um, I think it's front page, does it say that on the front page? The, the oh, part? no, it's flooding time. Yeah, oh no, it's flooding time again. So, you know, the Spanish Arch, which is in Galway City, it, 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 it has... Um, you know, a low lying key which has been there for many, many years. And, you know, regularly now um, the flood waters come up above that. And I mean, I, I know that global warming and sea, sea level changes and everything are not happening to the same extent. Um, you know, they're, they're happening to a very small extent at the, at, the, at the moment, but environmentalists believe, and we've had various films and subjects on the topic, um, you know, that at some stage in the not too distant future, when the temperature rises above a certain threshold, that we'll have a massive quick increase in the sea level. And I mean, that is quite a, a frightening prospect from the point of view of cities like London, from Galway, Dublin, uh, many of the cities which you probably come from, port cities, if it does indeed happen, which, you know, would seem, seem to be scientifically relevant. But I mean, obviously that isn't what the conference is about. <laughs> it's, about um, it's about the effect of the prevailing 
um, ideologies in this world on, you know, on, on our economy. Am I correct in saying that? I mean, it's, it's um, you know, something that is linked in. If anybody's seen Al Gore's film on climate change, you know, there is a political link in between the whole environmental aspect and, um, you know, the, the, the actual thinking um, behind how, how things are happening. Now, I, I, I feel like I'm being a big fraud here. I've got some of the, the best brains in the world, and I'm trying to, to, to expand my, my political views of, of the way I see things developing. But certainly, the, the, there is a huge threat, um, you know, to our um, to our world from the you know from the economic situation that we're facing at the moment. I mean, there is always a threat to the world. One, one can never be complacent, and it's important to continue continuously and analyze. Um, examine you know what is happening and it, it is up to people like yourselves I think to guide politicians um, you know and, and to you know I hope from this conference that it isn't just a case of just talking to yourselves and talking amongst yourselves and agreeing with each other I hope that something substantial comes out of it and I hope it comes back to, to, to people like myself and political representatives in your own countries and I hope that um, you know it is something that we can use um, you know in, in the decision making process. So I think I've done enough ranting and rambling. Um, I just like to do what, what mayors do best, I think, which is to officially um, open the, the session and um, wish that you, you all have a great um, it's the weekend, is it? It's uh, through Saturday afternoon. Through Saturday afternoon. I hope you have a great time in, in Galway, and I hope you get to do a good bit of socialising as well, because Galway is well known for its arts, it's, it's well known for people having fun, and it's, it's, I think it's, it's a very beautiful city. And I hope you, you all enjoy your time here. So thank you very much for a meal.